I think it's just you and I, Allie. Up here in the mountains. Not a lot of people come out in the winter time. Not up in these parts. Figured I'd give you guys an infield backpack review. Nothing fancy style. Be less than 10 minutes is my prediction. That is a Jansport Carson external frame pack. For winter camping, I definitely prefer an external frame for the reasons you're looking at. I can strap on my snow shovel, tripod, ax, saw, large knives. There's a lot of gear coming along. That's Allie's bed, for instance, for the night. We'll be up here two days. Bed roll. The tent I pulled off already. Yes, I bring a pillow too. I just like it, I know. This is a cool pack. For the money, you're really gonna be hard pressed to find anything like it for its size. So around 5,000 cubic inches, that should be enough for a three day winter adventure. It should be enough for a week long summer adventure, depending on how you pack and you know how much you're willing to rough it. In other words, not like Allie because I baby her up here. Look, she's got her freaking rough wear rain jacket on. It's not even raining. Let's dig into this pack. I'll show you features. I'll stop at the, I start at the top pocket. Large top pocket goes right here. It is, I think, fully detachable, but not quick release. There's some fast text buckles here. I just leave it on. Right now, it is just running a level two first aid kit, previously reviewed and some other stuff like camera stuff that was in there on the hike up. Great pocket. I'd probably pack usually some soft stuff up here. Unsnaps like this. And before I get into the, the main compartment, and I'm, I'll basically unload for another video I'm gonna do as we go along, I wanna show you this, and this is another reason I love the Jansport Carson. You have horizontal straps running like, yeah. Look at how easy it is to strap that stuff. You can run your tent, your sleeping bag vertically. I could have run Allie's bed vertically right here and you just compress it with three straps. Fast text buckles. I use nylon keepers here. These are just kind of like some Velcro keepers so I don't have my, my straps flopping all over the place. Easily to, easy to adjust. Pop these out and off comes your gear. Okay, that's a snow shovel. Baco Force snow, or saw that I brought with me. The cool thing also about this pack is you can either top load it like that or you can come and panel load it. Another advantage for all types of backpacking, especially winter packing, where I like to lean my pack up against a tree, just like you're seeing here. And it's kind of a, a really cool way to keep your gear organized, sorted, and out of the snow. Later on, it's gonna be snowing, maybe raining up here, and I don't wanna have my gear spread all over Kingdom Come. And a, an internal frame pack, as I've shown in some other vids, doesn't usually do that. It's less constructed and it'll kind of flop over. Now, the way I have this loaded is not indicative of a long backpack trip. I normally put my sleeping bag down here in this compartment, but I brought a minus 20 below down bag and it won't fit. So this is a, you know, a relatively good sized pack, 5,000 cubes, but I run out of space on a multi-day adventure for sure. Got some knives in there for testing, some treats. If you go to my Jeremiah Johnson series of videos, you'll see me talking a lot about the stuff I carry. There's my sleeping bag. So it's too big for this sleeping bag compartment. Very few people do what Allie and I are doing right now. That is backpacking in the winter time when there's snow, where the gear is bulky, fleece, down, prima loft, thin slate. It just takes up room. This is an Easter Mountain Sports Mountain Light. Great sleeping bag. And there's the main compartment right here. Got some more knives in there. Some other testing gear that I'm doing. <laughs> Little insight to the TNT gear process. Normally I wouldn't pull all this stuff out, but I have to show you the pack. Main compartment right there. The Falcon Even S1 in there, force knife. It's got a spreader bar up here, so the mouth will stay open if you decide to top load. Spin drift collar, as you can see here, going up, so you can extend your load all the way like that. Which for a longer trip, I probably would have done. I would have this thing completely rocked out. I mean, using every cubic inch that it has. Bottom compartment here, 
side pockets. Two water bottle pockets, mesh variety, right here on the GN Sport Carson. And I like that. I don't run usually a hydration pack on my packs. It's just a hassle. It doesn't have an internal pocket here for the hydration pack. It does, however, have one between your shoulder blades right there. Uh, I think I used that once. I didn't like it because filled with a 60 ounce bladder, what it does is it just pushes up against your suspension system right into the, you know, the small of your back. It just doesn't work. Pockets. This one is a large side pocket. It is flow through. I have carried rifles with a Jansport Carson. I think a Ruger 1022, for instance, I've shown it in vids. It goes down here, the buttstock can stay in the mesh pocket. Works great. Good zipper, stitching throughout the pack is excellent. I have no faults at all. Most of today's uh, gear is so well made. I mean, even some of the off brands, the Chinese produced brands are mimicking US quality. Well, this one isn't made in the US. Where is this made? Oh, I don't know if it says. It's probably made in China. Made in Vietnam, see it? But the quality control is awesome. Polyurethane coated, you can see that. That's pretty standard. There's another pocket right here. I'm carrying my uh, Batman fanny pack in there, some other stuff. Let's look at the suspension system on the Carson. Oh yeah. I've been meaning to review this pack for a long time. Uh, I really like it. I'm debating whether we'll sell it or not. I like it so much, but we, we run out of room. <laughs> we just do. It's, we don't have room to store everything. There's your back panel. Mesh. Simple. It works. S. Curved. Frame. External frame. I, I just love external frames. I can lash stuff to it. If these straps, these horizontal straps I showed you aren't enough, I can run 550 cord off the frame and just keep lashing back and forth. I want to carry a griddle other dog supplies, whatever, and external frames the way to go. I'm a big fan. That's another reason why I want to get this review out because there are so few external frames to choose from now because for whatever reason, the outdoor market has christened the internal frame pack as the go-to way, way to be. I have those too, but I don't use them for every adventure. S-curved shoulder straps, perfect padding. Not too much, some are too poofy. There's no lining that will catch seeds. It's just simple probably 600 denier pack cloth. The whole body is either 300 or 600 denier polyester on the Carson backpack. Here's your waist belt, just right. Not too padded, just right. Really comfortable. You can see your adjustments here. It'll fit torsos from 16 to 21 inches, Carson, uh, not Carson, but Jansport says. I don't know if you can take this top bar any higher. Ooh. I haven't tried. Sometimes you can expand it higher and lash your tent to it, and that kind of helps. Another reason I like the external frame because everything rests right here on the aluminum frame. So you're not banging up, I don't know, the bottom of your pack for an internal frame. The weight is four pounds, 13 ounces, which is reasonable. If you look at a Kelty Super Tioga, probably my overall reference backpack for these conditions, this type of outing, that's gonna weigh about five pounds, 13 ounces. Uh, it's a lot of firepower, but it's a heavier pack. If I'm going on a multi-day adventure between this pack and the Tioga, uh, I'll take the Tioga Carson though. It's gonna run about a buck 20. This super cool color I think is no longer being produced. So you can start being sad if you like. It is a perfect sage and light desert tan coloration. That's it, man. Jansport Carson. Uh, Likeability scale, I'll just throw it out here on video. What do you think, Allie? Mm, the price is really, really good. The quality is really, really good. Mm, for what it is, I'm, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, really. Uh, if you want a more technical pack, you're going to do mountain climbing, there's a lot of other options. But for an overall adventure like we're doing here in these conditions, recommended TMP Sia.